this is very risky. How do I lower myself? Oh god. Oh god. Miraculously, I did not die. Okay, that's that's good. What's going on guys? Giganato Gaming here and welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we... What did we do last episode? Oh yeah, we tamed a basilisk. That basilisk over there, this guy over here, it had terrible melee, but it had really good other stats and whatever. Show traits, show buffs. Mm. Oh yeah, you got exotic bearing trait. Yeah, that's a new thing that came in. And then we got show buffs. Alright, so yeah, we tamed a basilisk, had terrible melee. But, I want to show you something. We have done a lot of off-camera work today. And I'm going to show you that right now. So as you notice here, my house seems a bit empty. That's because I've done a lot of off-camera work. Now before I show you that... In today's video, I want to go ahead and try and get a high-level female Megalosaurus at the blue place. And while we're there, maybe get a couple of Shinehorns. Because they're so cute and I want them. At least a male and a female so we can breed them up and have extras. Now, now that that's out of the way, let me show you what I've done. Alright, so the Spinos are kind of over here. This is just a crowd of Spinos, excuse the crowd. Now, you notice there's a ladder. That wasn't here before. If we climb up this ladder, let me show you where it leads. Any minute now, any second, there's the boards. Yep, we got ourselves a cliff platform right here. Now, there's nothing here right now, but I'm thinking about using this as a breeding pen. Building a huge breeding pen over here so we can have our spinos breed up and whatever. And yeah, this land will all be building. This will all be breeding. Now, there's also a bridge here. Don't mind this. This is just weird looking for some reason. I blocked this off for whatever reason. Wait, maybe I could, uh, we continue crossing this bridge and whatever. Now, did I need to make this bridge? Was this necessary? No. But did I think it'd be cool? Yes. Oh, I thought that was a drop for a second. So if we continue here, you see this very weird looking building. I tried my best with this, but I, you guys will have to let me know how this came out in the comments. But this is my new base. We got the smithy over here, the refining forge over here. It's very dark in here. I might have to move like a light pet in here or something like that. Or have a few lamps. Wait, I got a lamp from a drop. Maybe I could use that. And I got a power generator here, so let me see. Uh, lamp, lamp. I must have left that back at the old base. Oh, I also got a, a rifle off camera. I created a rifle with some darts. And I also added in a few more mods. So hopefully things will get more interesting. So the list of mods that I've added in, I think I've added in this uh, Antrodemus, the Antrodemus mod I added in. Nothosaurus, I do believe spawn here. The Stone Knife. The uh, Sunken World mod. I added that in as well. I also added in auto engrams, which means now all the engrams will be automatically learned. And I also got the Maelania, the um, whatever else we got. And there's this new creature called the Laylaps, which is basically a retro style dinosaur. You know, from like the 1940s or whatever. Uh, all right. This right here is my bedroom. I know it's very dark in here, but. I'll, I'll get some light pets, or maybe I'll get, like, one of those lights from those drops and whatever. So, down here, this right here is the kitchen. With the refrigerators and the preserving bin and whatever. I got a lot of organic polymer in there. So, I figured we would use the Trank Darts to go out and tame that Megalosaurus. And we'll take our Megalosaurus to try and hunt it down. But, like, for the other one, the, uh... But for taming it, we'll use the Ravager. So yeah, there's that. I'll probably get that light that I got from that surface drop that one time. Should I use the Cosmo to sink down? Nah, we'll just climb down. I should use the Cosmo more often. 
if I could find another Cosmo and breed them up, then we'll definitely um, do that. So that's something I might do while I'm out on my adventure. All right, we still got a little ways to go. I'll probably replace this with an elevator in the future to make it more convenient. But I'll, I'll do that on my spare time. I usually build bases on my spare time. So now, did I need to do this? No. Does it look cool? Eh, kind of. You, you guys will have to be the judge of that. All right, we're on the ground level. All right, so now, where was that lamp that I got from that drop? Pugsley and Luna. You two can start breeding at some point. I'm going to bring you guys down here so you can start breeding up extra bulb dogs. And while we're here, let's see what we've got for, for Ravagers. Let's see if we can get a 228 Ravager. 228. No, no, no. 228. Nothing there. So let's go ahead and kill that. Let's put the bulb dogs, like, over here. Luna. There you go. Behavior. Enable mating. Behavior. Enable mating. Oh, no, you guys are already on mating. Alright, there you go. Breed up some extra bulb dogs. And while we're here, I'm gonna take Tiffany. And we are gonna go... We're gonna go into the blue zone. I'd love to bring Cosmo, but Cosmo doesn't illuminate light. And if we don't illuminate light, that's how the Nameless get us. So we want to be extra careful when going down there. So, I mean, we need a high-level female Megalosaurus. Sunrise is nice and all, but she's kind of a, a garbage level. I think I got her when she was like a level 15 or something. Let's bring Mr. Krabs. He might not be as fast, but we can shoot off the back of him. Which is very convenient. I don't know how accurate he is, but we'll give him a shot. Alright. Megalosaurus. We'll take the Megalosaurus down there. And Tiffany is invisible for some reason. Oh, there you are. Axeman kind of had the same problem with his bulb dog, but I don't know. Alright, can the Cosmo reach up there, actually? That'd be a little more convenient. Alright, um, I have no idea how this works. I, you know, we'll just climb. I have no idea how the Cosmo works. So we'll just climb up there. Yeah, I am definitely replacing this ladder with an elevator at some point. Because, yeah, this is going to get ridiculous. I did not need to build this high. If I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> uh, but we'll get it done, don't worry. We got power in there, so the light shouldn't be a problem. Should we put it upstairs or downstairs? You know, I'll get another light for upstairs. That's what I'll do. I'll put one downstairs and one upstairs. So we can at least have light. Oh, it's got different ones. We got a, a floor light or a wall light. We got, I think, a, a ceiling light. And a desk light. Oh, okay, so that's a ceiling light. A wall light. Ground steam light. Let's use, like, the... Let's get a wall light. Okay, that is much better. Gives us a lot more light. We should be good to go. I'll get some extra lights if I need to. All right, let's get back down. Ooh, this is very risky. How do I lower myself? Oh God, oh God. Miraculously, I did not die. Okay, that's that's good. All right, Cosmo, you can go back over there. I don't want to lose you, buddy. You're the only Cosmo I have. Yeah, the Megalosaurus isn't the fastest, but it's um, but it's very strong, so you should be able to. Oh yeah, we have prime stack stackable prime now. That was a, a mod that I added in to the game as well. Hopefully we'll be able to find some of the new modded creatures. What's this? Athletic cooldown. Try the bite. You know I need your silica pearls. I could I could use some of your pearls. One black pearl. There's another one. 
There we go. We got five silica pearls. I knew trilobites were a thing, but because they're so small, they're very hard to find. That's a 140 bolt dog. Hmm. These are the type of mushrooms you like, right? And there we have it. Bulb dog has been tamed. That's the highest level bulb dog we've gotten. Alright, well, we've got Tiffany anyway, so I figured I'd just tame up a high-level bulb dog because it was there. That's a 145 male. Uh, okay. We could get some better bulb dogs. Oh my god, I can't climb up there. It's probably too scared to be fed anyway because it was just attacked by a raptor. What was this one? That's a 21. Ah, and the game crashed. I know that sound from anywhere the game crashed. All right, hold on. I'll be back in a minute or two. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. The uh, When the game crashed, it like messed up the screen resolution for some reason. So we ended up getting like, like basically windowed instead of full screen for whatever reason. And it kept getting encoding overloaded on OBS. So hopefully that's been fixed. But yeah, so anyway, we're heading into the uh, the blue zone. I'm going to save every now and then, just in case the game crashes again. All right, so megalosaurs are usually everywhere around here. We just need to find a megalosaurus. Kill any Archiplora we see, because we don't want them destroying our armor. I think they're mainly terrestrial, you'd think. <gasps> Shinehorn! Hold on, what kind of food do you like? The... These kinds of mushrooms, okay. I mean, you're a very weak level. Our first shine horn, everyone. It's only a level five, but it's something. You know what? We're gonna save just in case the game crashes again. Just in case. On our first megalosaur, I'm look I am looking for a roll rep. That's a mutated roll rep. You know what? I don't think we're gonna find any honey anytime soon. I'm gonna kill you. I should have brought the Gigantoraptor for the levels or the stats, but you know what? It's fine. We got a roll rat anyway, so it's all good. You're a level 20 Gigantoraptor. I'm going to save again, just in case. We got some Ravagers over here. We got a 15. Another 15. Well, Megalosaur, that was a 20. All right, that's fine. There's a Megalosaurus right here. Level 15. Beautiful colors, though. All purple. Shame you couldn't be like a 150 or something. That would have been cool. There's a rock drake. A 25 rock drake. We can take that one. Green feathers. Not really a fan of that. Alright, megalosaurus. They're usually everywhere around here. That's why I'm trying to find one. Alright, there's a Cosmo. What level are you? A five female. Do I have any chitin on me? Alright, it says it takes two chitin. Azerbic mushroom, just the one. If I had any of those other mushrooms, I could use them. Oh, hello. 25? Alright. Kill all the garbage levels to make room for high levels. Let's save again. Just in case. Let's let's bring out Mr. Krabs. Are you any faster? A little bit. You know what? We'll use you. Alright. And this way here, it's more convenient. We can shoot off the back of the Megalosaurus. There's a Megalosaurus right here. We'll level you. 80. Okay. Not the greatest level. That's not bad. But not quite what we're looking for. Sorry you had two babies, that's a shame. They weren't, they're not the greatest level, level 80. Oh, that's a beautiful mega source, 35. Shame you had to be such a garbage level. There's a Baryonyx. Okay, that is a 140 Baryonyx. Um, we might have a change of plans, guys. A 140 Baryonyx is in the area. We have to get fish, though. That's the thing. I don't know where we're going to get fish. Hmm. 
Hold on, sir. I'm not ready for you. All right, I'm not ready. All right, let's drop everything. Yeah, we might have a change of plans. Originally, I was going to go after a female um, Megalosaurus, but apparently we got a Baryonyx. So we're going to see if we can get it. We can shoot off the back of the crab. That's why I brought him. Uh, we're still hitting the Barry. As long as we're hitting the Barry and not the crab. Okay, this is good. This is good. We might have to hunt for some fish, but you know what? It's fine. I'd rather you not swim in the water. Alright, the Barry is down. Not in the ideal spot, but at least it doesn't have oxygen. All right. I will get some fish, and I will see you guys when this Baryonyx is fully tamed. So I'll see you in a little bit. And there we have it. Baryonyx has been tamed. All right. I just finished taming the Baryonyx. It came out as a 140 or 210, 217, or 210 even. 140 is 210, 145 is 217. Female, so... All right, we got that guy. Let's go ahead and switch out to the Megalosaurus. And maybe try to continue our search for a Megalosaurus. So we got a Baryonyx, and it might be our new travel buddy. Because it's pretty fast, pretty strong. We can shoot off the back of it, making it the perfect... Is that a... That's a max level snake. There was a max level snake in that crowd. That's pretty crazy. All right. We're probably going to get attacked by all the snakes. That was a 110. There's a Megalosaurus. I see one, and it is a 35. If you could be a 135 female, then that would have been good. I don't think I'll expect anything lower than a 130. Or take anything lower than a 130. That's a Basilisk. We just one shot at a basilisk. Awesome. Right, there's Pyromane down there. Let's see what level this Pyromane is. It's only a level five. All right, push over. Absolutely push over. Let me just see what's in this drop real quick. Oh, oh, was that something good? An Ascendant Megalosaurus Saddle. Get on. We got a really good Megalosaurus Saddle from that drop. What's that? 107 armor. And there's another one right here. But let me just get rid of this pool of snakes real quick. Guys, this is Ark, not snakes and ladders. We also got an Ascendant map. I'll just grab that. We got the Journeyman Megalosaurus. We'll keep that. I can't believe we got a better saddle. That's pretty amazing. All right, Snake, piss off. Let me just see what level this guy is. You are a 25, all right. Nothing crazy at all. We can do better than that. A 90, mm, that's not too bad. Not quite what we're looking for, though. We can definitely do better than that. All right, hello, what level are you? 50. You're a male as well. You could be a female and have a one in front of you. That'd be great. Oh, hello. Something tells me this has got to be the one. A 30. Uh, leave that snail alone. There we go. All right, there's another Megalosaurus here. Please be the one. At least a 130 or higher. Ugh, 10. Ooh, there's another Megalosaurus down there. All right, trees get out the way so I can get to this Megalosaurus. All right. What level are you, good sir? You gotta be the one. You gotta be the one. Come on. 45. If you could have a one in front of you, that would be golden. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Rock Drake. Goodbye, Rock Drake. Hello, Diplocalus. Level 15. Don't know if I want to tame one of those. There's another Megalosaurus right here. Alright, this one's got to be the one. First, we need to get rid of this crab. 
Gotta be the one. Gotta be the one. Come on. Alright, let's save the game just in case. You... a 55. Uh, we'll keep searching. We can do way better than that. There's another one. Come on. You gotta be the one. 130 or higher. Come on. Let's see. A five. Really? Come on. Can't do any better than that. That's pathetic. That's like the weakest level. Ooh, Baryonyx, what level are you? 20. I, I hear another Megalosaurus. Alright, come on. 85? Not quite what we're looking for, but getting there. Slowly getting there. Any more Megalosaurs? Oh, this one right here. Alright, get rid of this snake. What level are you? 60? Mm, we could do better than that. We could do way better than that. Hello, Megalosaurus. 35. Alright, we can do better than that. Get rid of all the garbage levels and hopefully a high level will spawn. Ouch. These snakes. How? Why are there so many snakes? Okay, they need to nerf the amount of snakes that spawn in Aberration. They need to nerf that. Because it's crazy. Too many snakes. Like, where did this one come from? Alright, I see a couple Megalosaurs right here. You are a five. Really? Damn. Alright, please be better. Alright, snakes, piss off. There's a third one, of course there is. Let me just take them out so they don't become a problem. Alright, can I look at this Megalosaurus in peace? Twenty. Really? Oh, I hear another Megalosaurus. 55. Wonderful. Bye. Hello, Megalosaurus. 95. Not the greatest, but we're getting there. We could definitely do better than that. Now, there was... Baryonyx with level Q. A 35. Alright. Oh, there's one right here. 20. Alright, I think we've circled around here again. Hey, we got him. No scoped him. Nice. Another Megalosaurus. There's a max level nearby, so it better be this Megalosaurus. Level 5. It's the lowest level possible. That's a Nothosaurus. An aberrant Nothosaurus. It's only a level 10, but it's there. So that's good to know we have aberrant Nothosaurus. I don't know how good they'd be on aberration because there's not much water. But, it's good to know that we can have them spawn down here. That's good to know. A 125 female? Hmm. Our male was a 145. It's got 21 health, 22 melee. I'll tell you what, I don't think it'll have the greatest stats, but we'll get it anyway. Because I've been searching all day for a Megalosaurus and I, I couldn't find a single one. So we'll go for this one for right now. Let's switch over to the crab. And down she goes. Awesome. Alright. So I'll get some meat for this female and uh, I will let you guys know when she's fully tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Female Megalosaurus has been tamed. Now that we got you, let's get out of here. The uh, bulb dog detects a max level somewhere. Don't know where it is, nor do I care. 
And we're officially back at base. Since we're on the crab, we should be fine. Yep, there we go. No fall damage whatsoever. Alright, Mr. Krabs, you did a great job, buddy. Get rid of the stego carcass. There we go. Alright, so let's check out our Megalosaurs. So let's compare the stats to the first one with the second. So we'll start with the female. 30 points into health, 33 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares, 22 into weight, 35 into melee. Other than the weight, pretty well rounded. And then you obviously had 34 into health, 39 into stamina, 33 oxygen food, no one cares, 38 into weight, and 34 into melee. Okay, so the female actually has slightly better melee. Obviously, we leveled up the male, so we want the male's health and the female's melee. That's what we want. Alright, so we got a female Megalosaurus. We should check the Baryonyx's stats. We'll check those in a minute. Let me just put down these eggs real quick. Okay, I did not mean to put the saddle in there. Or the map. Let's take that. Or that Shinehorn. Let's take that out. Probably do some breeding with the Shinehorns. Alright, let's see what we got for Ravagers. Do we have any 228? Nope. Let's check out the Berry. Let's see what we got for the Berry. Okay, 43 points into health, 46 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares, 31 into weight, and 41 into melee. Okay, we're going to have to try and find a high-level male so we can, you know, breed that up. Alright, get an imprinted version and we'd be good to go. Alright, we'll put the Baryonyx here. We got the Baryonyx. Let's save the game anyway, just in case. And uh, the Roll Rat. Obviously not that great. We just need you as a wood gatherer. But we've got one anyway. You were a, a mutated baby, so that's good. What was your mutation on? I don't think it says what your mutation was on. Alright. We got a roll rat anyway, and you're a fast learner apparently. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright, let's get the shine horns. We'll get the highest level male and the highest level female. So in this case, we got 7, level 5, 24. Yeah, we got a Shinehorn that was a double mutation, which is awesome. 82, 29. Alright, so we'll take this Shinehorn, 82 Shinehorn, and this 24 male. And then we, of course, have backup Shinehorns if we need them. Alright, so we got a couple Shinehorns. Oh, right, the smithy is in the main base. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and make ourselves a Baryonyx saddle, because that would be awesome. All right, Baryonyx. Let's test you out and see how good you are. We already got 16 levels. I don't know what's weighing us down, but probably all the arrows. If I'm going to be fair. Three hundred seventy-eight damage to start with. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we're not the... We don't have the greatest carry weight out there. I think we do have terrible carry weight. Or am I thinking of the Megalosaurus? I'm thinking of the Megalosaurus. 1,033. That's much better. Much better. Alright, let's level up in melee a bit more. And the best part, we can shoot off the back of it. So if we wanted to, we could use the Baryonyx for adventures now. Alright, let's see what we got for our creatures. Alright, Ravager. Do we have any 228s? Nope. Okay, 230. Nope. Alright. Alright, so Spino. Let's hatch the Spino eggs while we're here. Oh yeah, the Megalosaur eggs are probably being collected. Alright, for these guys, I'm pretty sure we need a 212. Let's see if we can get 212. Alright, we got a 212, alright? You are a weight mutation. Alright, not too fussed. And you're a melee mutation. If only that was the other way around. If only the the female was the weight and the male was the the health or melee. Ah, that would have been poggers and coggers right there. Alright, let's kill you all. Alright, let's hatch up these Megalosaur eggs. Hopefully one of them has the perfect stats. 
and then we'll go from there, see what an imprinted Megalosaurus is all about, and then see if we can get an army of these. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, and our Megalosaurus, our imprinted Megalosaurus is fully grown. So let's go ahead and see what you can do. There's, that's that's got to be a headshot. There's no way you're doing 1,400 damage right off the bat. That had to be a headshot. All right, so you have 10,000 health to start with, which is great. All right. 13. Is that how much we do normally? All right, let's fight something bigger like this Karn out here. Okay, that's not even a headshot. That's just what we do, apparently. All right, so we got an imprinted Megalosaurus, which is actually pretty strong. If we can get a couple more of these, we can finally use them to go down to the Rock Drake Nest and get some Rock Drakes. That's what we'll do. We'll get like, I don't know, six or seven of them. Hopefully that's good enough. All right, so that's imprinted Megalosaurus pretty much done. We got a lot done today. We got a couple of Shine Horns. We got a 120 Gigantoraptor. We got a female Megalosaurus, so we can get an imprinted Megalosaurus, so we should be good to go. If we can get a couple more of those, we can use those against the Rock Drake. And I might mutate the Megalosaurus. I might actually mutate them. And on my spare time, I'll build a new breeding pen, because this is not going to do at all. But until then, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.